Today we will see about the heterogeneity of the reservoir. What is the heterogeneity? How we can calculate it? So first of all, before talking about the heterogeneity, let's talk about the what is the homogeneity. So homogeneity is uh, we can define if we have some space, then if we measure the let's suppose we are measuring permeability from the cold sample obtained from the here and it is giving us the permeability of 50 milli Darcy then if we took the core samples from somewhere distance from here suppose this is the 10 meter distance from here we took the core sample of it and we measure the permeability again if the reservoir formation this reservoir formation is if it is the homogeneous then the permeability value obtained from this second core sample also will have equal properties as the first uh, core samples so if the permeability obtained from the core sample number one core sample number two core sample number three core sample number four if all the permeability is equal then we can see the reservoir formation is the homogeneous but if the core sample obtained from the second one will have permeability value which is not equal to 50 suppose it is the 10 or 20 or greater than the 50 that is the 70 milli darcy or anything else than 50 and if this is the aerial heterogeneity we took the sample from the same area although it so the different values of the permeability this is not necessary that only permeability will vary any petrophysical property can be varied if the heterogeneity is present and in oil and gas industry we generally found the not generally but uh, almost in all places we generally found the heterogeneous reservoir only there is nothing called uh, homogeneous or isotropic reservoir another thing to take care is the uh, isotropic and uh, homogeneity is not the same we will have some video about it uh, later today we will see about the heterogeneity part so we know that from the our discussion what's the heterogeneity then let's uh, look at the how to mathematically calculate or mathematically how to say how much the our reservoir is heterogeneous so for that we have derived or we can have two formulas that is one is the dextra partition coefficient method to calculate the heterogeneity of reservoir and another one is the Lorentz coefficient to characterize the heterogeneity so first let's see about the dextra partition coefficient dextra partition coefficient is generally given as the k50 value of permeability core samples which has the greater than 50 percentage of the thickness than minus k84.5 why this 84.5 value 85 4.1 value is uh, taken because the that is the one standard deviation away from the k50 so the Stabarshin coefficient is defined as the k mean or we can say k50 minus k1 standard deviation away from the mean that is the k84.1 upon k50 so for the perfectly homogeneous reservoir these two values will be same right k50 will be k84.1 and our dextra partition coefficient will be zero right and if the reservoir is perfectly homogeneous then our value will be exactly one so one will be heterogeneous and zero will be homogeneous that is the dextra